What's going on guys? So we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. For those of you following the Facebook page, you already know that we have been in the process of building a new PC, both for gaming and also for the production side of the channel. If you're not following the Facebook page, you need to go ahead and do that. Links right here. Facebook and Instagram, go ahead and follow us if you're not following us already. Anyway, let's get on to the video. The new case, it's a pretty cool case. This is actually my secondary case. The original case that I was looking at, um, I decided that I didn't want to wait for shipping. Um, but this is a Aerocool. It's a double glass, tempered glass on each side. And it's got cable management provisions. And I like it. It was a good bargain case for a budget. You can see the components right here. So let's go over that. I got the AS Rock Z390 Extreme 4. We have the uh, Trident Z at 3200 uh, speed, and then we're running at 16 gigabytes, and then the focus is still not focused. There we go. We have a Corsair H1 inch Die Pro water cooling. Then we got the uh, Intel Core i5. It's an unlocked uh, 98600K, so it's the highest version of the i5. Six cores, all the good stuff. Then we got a Samsung 860 Evo SSD for the primary drive. And in my current computer, I have more hard drives that will be ported over as slave drives. But we are going to go ahead and build this baby out. So uh, let's go ahead and crack open the case, get that laid out, and then we'll start with the motherboard, put on the processor, and then uh, put on the RAM, and then place it into the case. And then from there, I'll have to shut this PC down so I can grab out the power supply and the graphics card. And then uh, it'll be good to put together. And then we load it up, boot it up, and uh, should be good to go. So let's get to work. All right, so pardon me, the fan's on. It's kind of hot in here. So I just turned the fan to keep me cool. Anyway, I have the computer lights over here placed neatly here on this piece of cardboard. Uh, that's to help cut down on any chances of static discharge since I am working on the carpet right now. Not the best place, I know that. My desk is cluttered with stuff and this works, this has always worked for me, so I'm gonna keep doing that. I have my foot on a part of my old case to ground me out so I don't create any more static. Uh, no socks on. And let's get to work. Very nice. Let's just put you over here. So already I like how this case slide door is screwed on from the side and not the back. That makes it really easy to access. Which from all the other cases I've had previously, that has not been the case. Now I need both hands because this glass is actually kind of heavy. This is off and there we have it. That's the case. So it's a full ATX, my board is a full ATX. So let's go ahead and place that in here. Now I have to say, this packaging is actually really nice for computer parts. And this nice box. It's got a little handle on it to carry it, you can't see it. SATA cables, back plate. This is actually a heat sink for an uh, M.2 drive. I do plan on upgrading to one of those in the future as a secondary storage drive. So I'm gonna hold this right here and I'm gonna build it on top of the box it came from. By build it, I mean place on the processor and RAM. Really nice packaging. I've never seen a uh, motherboard silver package, so definitely paying for quality here with this AS Rock board. I am uh, thoroughly impressed so far. Nice. Alright, they're all cut free. Now it's time for the processor. Now, a must have that any computer aficionado, computer enthusiast, if you're building your own PC, even if you're not building your own PC, if you're having somebody build your PC, make sure when they go to put on the processor that they're using the Antic Arctic Silver Thermal Paste. It's a. You can't see it because of the focus, but it's a nano diamond compound. It's really good stuff. I've always used it. Used it. It's the great 
probably the best thermal compound you can get. Um, a lot of people swear by it. It's great. It's expensive, but it's worthwhile. Really good thermal conducting properties. Got the processor out here. Gotcha. There we go. Ah. Oh. I just placed the processor in. Sorry guys, I, my battery died and I had to change it. So it's placed down. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add the thermal compound. So you definitely wanna make sure if you have uh, paper towels or a napkin or something to wipe it off nearby. And definitely use a disposable old plastic card or something to scrape it on with. That way it doesn't ruin anything of value to you. Gonna squeeze out a small amount. I almost blew it, that's not good. So I'm going to go ahead and lock this back down now. Alright, and the processor is good to go. Alright, so here's the cooler. Let's move this out of the way a little bit more. So I already opened it. Um, I know there's a bracket that I believe I have to install. Yeah, so I'm gonna do one of these guys. I think it's gonna be either this bracket. I've never installed water cooling, so this is my first time doing water cooling. I'm learning. All right, so it seems I'm gonna install this first. So I'm doing the socket uh, 1151. These little tabs have to be on the inside most, which is where they are right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the back of the motherboard with the appropriate screws and we'll move on to the next step. All right, I brought you guys here on the desk so it's safer and easier to work. My instructions right here, since I don't know what I'm doing. So, I need to flip this guy around. Um, I kind of want to see so where you guys can see what I'm doing. And he needs to go inside like this. Okay, that wasn't so hard. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna set up the radiator. I'm doing the fans onto the radiator right now. It's gonna be an intake setup. So exactly how they are is how they're going on. Just gotta make sure these wires are gonna be in a good spot. Uh, I'll run it up with the, yeah, with the, with the cables that should they don't give me the most management. Maybe in the back. Yeah, in the back. It'll be facing more than likely like this. So let's do that. Uh oh, spaghettios. Actually, you know what? We got four out of the six bolts. That should be plenty. All right, let's drop the motherboard in. It's always hard trying to figure out how to hold it. Coming together nicely, boys. Coming together nicely. I'm looking for screws. Come to find out, the case came with a box of screws. Now, not only did it come with a box of screws, they're labeled. That's awesome. I've never had a case that came with screws and then went as far as to label them and individually bag them. Nice. 3.5 hard drive. And whatever this is for. I don't know. It also came with zip ties for cable management. That's awesome. Motherboard is where we're at. Let's do this.
Okay, well the computer died, or my camera died, but time for me to go ahead and put on the RAM. And I'm going to pull out the power supply and GPU, throw it over into here. Man, this RAM looks really good. So DDR channel A1 and then B1, it's usually how you want it, dual channel. Seated all the way. Looks like it is. Alrighty, guys. RAM's installed. GPU's ready to go in. Old computer has been dismantled. We'll draw the parts, various hard drives, cables, all the gear shot. So, let's continue. Next up is actually putting in the power supply. I think that should be next. Something tells me I'm probably gonna want the cables plugged in first because uh, <laughs> there's not much room to plug them in once it's in. So, should probably figure out what cables we need. So, this would probably supply last actually. Also, we know where the cables are gonna run. That way, we can plug them in and cable it into the power supply. Looks like SSD goes right here. The higher one might have more airflow from the fan, but I, it'll be all right. Yeah, it'll be fine right here. Oh! <laughs> That's why this is there. So you can install it on the bracket first and then put it in the computer seat. See? You learn something new, folks. You know, I saw the screw and I wasn't really sure, but seeing how hard this is, that's got to be what it's for. Ah, yeah, it slides up. Okay, cool. That makes it a lot easier now. Okay, so I'm putting together the hard drives and it's got little bushings on it to help cut down vibrations and whatnot. So this is a really quality made case, especially for the price. I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. Interesting enough, it's got a slot on the very bottom for the hard drive, the third one. So one right here, one right here, one right here, and then two on the sides. Awesome. So right now I'm just tightening that other one that's on the bottom that you just saw. Before I put them in, friends are installed. I can go ahead and start running some cables. This part I may not record because I'm not even sure how I'm going to do it yet, so um, we'll pick back up once I get this cable. Alright, so just a quick update on this. I've been cracking away at it, um, just getting everything plugged in and cabled in. I haven't been recording because it's just mundane, trying to figure out the best way to cable it so it looks good, has good airflow. Uh, this is where I'm at so far. Make sure your focus is alright. Uh, that's the back side and the right nest of wires. Going over here. On the front, it's decent. It could be better. My lens is dirty, but uh, it's decent. So, almost ready to fire it up. It's all put together. Try to keep it as clean as possible. Can probably get it a little bit better, but this is good for now. I'll put the front on right now. The back side hasn't been properly managed yet. I'm gonna test fire it first. Once I know it works, then I'll manage it. But I will put on the front. So let's. Uh... All right. Let's put it together. Let's fire this baby up. 